Mm-hmm. Is this a mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's <laughs> What about you? Not too much. Back for another episode. Yeah, we got some uh, beautiful uh, sushi from Kaji. I haven't been to Kaji in a really long time. It's probably uh, been about, what, I, for me, like a year and a half, two years. For me, it's probably been three years. To give a bit of backstory on what Kaji is, Kaji was like the original restaurant in Toronto for really good, high-quality sushi. What's, a, what's the restaurant that you go to now? <laughs> <laughs> Saito. 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 So, Saito. Unbelievable. So now there's Saito, there's Zen, there's Kaji, there's where else? Uh, Yasu. Yasu. Okay. <laughs> Basically what we did is we got the menu and <laughs> chill the fuck out. Basically what we did is we got the menu from Kaji during their quarantine, which they have three options. The omakase. Here, should I bring it out for them to see? Here, I'll play it and I'll bring it out. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. You go get it. Ocean trout and salmon maki set, which they like make a bunch of different types of maki. And then you also have the tuna set and they have a bunch of different cuts of tuna. They also have a bunch of different sauces. They have what, the hot sauce? Yeah, yeah this is a hot sauce. This is a spicy mayo, which I hate mayo and sushi. I think this yeah. is an abomination. Gross. Uh, and then this is a yuzu sauce. It doesn't appear to be a mayo base. Yeah, I don't know. But and then they have their homemade. You said it's soy sauce. sauce. It's their homemade soy sauce. Thirty five dollars for the maki set, which you get a bunch. Like uh-huh. this is only a bit of it for the salmon and ocean and trout. For, for the tuna was fifty five, and then for their omakase. like premium uh, sushi omakase was eighty five dollars. So essentially, what we'll do is we'll try all of them. You know, try the different sauces and give what we always do, which is a rating out of ten for the total restaurant. This is compared to, you know, all of our past experiences. I mean, take it from us. <laughs> We've had a lot of restaurants. We're trained professionals. professionals. So this is, this is salmon and shiso leaf. Great. Are you going to try it straight? Uh, I'm going to try it straight first, yeah. Okay, cool. Are you? I'll try it straight too. I already have my thoughts. Me too. Quality of fish is good. Yeah. The rice is good. For sure. I've had worse rice. I think their seaweed is a bit too chewy. Not my favorite. Thank you. To be fair, if you're eating it fresh, it's different. At the restaurant, different. But yes, the seaweed isn't what I would want Mm. it to be, where it's like crispy and like kind of crunchy. This one isn't that. But I also expected that. Should, should we do another one with with, with, with soy sauce. sauce? But I do like the shiso leaf. It gives it a good. It gives it a good like whole thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. That soy sauce. Wow! Is unbelievable. Wow. That's incredible. The soy sauce is really good. That totally really stepped it up enough. Like this one's sweet. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Um, sure. Can you do me a big favor? Glass of water. Glass of water. Sparkling or flat? Flat. Please. We'll go flat tonight. Okay. Next roll. So this is ocean trout and avocado. Do Do we want to do like a? I think we now go a sauce. I kind of want to do a little. I bit think of we the, do soy sauce. Oh, I want to kind of go use it. Okay. Okay. Let's. Let's do a bit of. It's a, wow, it's fucking a pain in the ass to get out. Mmm. Mmm, that's pretty good. Mmm. It's not mayo-based, but it is oil-based. Mm-hmm. There's some oil in there. Once thank again, much. thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Of course. Anything else I can get you? Uh, no, I think we're fine for right now. Yeah. Just the bill when you have the chance. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was actually really good. What are your thoughts? I thought it was excellent. I thought it, it goes well with the ocean trout. Um, mm-hmm. Fattiness from the avocado and the oil base is a little much. Uh, I would agree. It's a little bit like, I don't I know. I think for the next one, I'm going to try the, the hot, hot sauce. sauce. Okay, go ahead. What do you think? Dude, do we have to eat the spicy mayo? Because I'm... I'm not doing the spicy mayo. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not really a big spicy mayo person. It's good. Not blown away. Mm. This one, you said it was like... So it's ocean trout. And spicy... Or some wasabi plum. and uh, pickled... Japanese pickled plum, I believe. Pickled plum. Pickled plum. <laughs> Funny word. Okay. 
What are you doing that with? Soy sauce? Mm -hmm. The dips aren't wide enough for the sushi. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a good roll. A bit spicy, which I really like. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. I would agree. It's like the pickled plum is a bit like, um, I don't know, what, tart? Like, I don't know. It's kind of like tart. A bit salty. A bit salty. A bit like pick, acidic. you know, acidic. And then the spicy from mm -hmm. the, um, from the wasabi. wasabi. And then obviously the fish is pretty fatty on its own. So that's pretty good too. I like that Should one. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, a yuzu? Man. Yeah, I guess I'll do a yuzu one. Yuzu is an actual, it's, it looks like a cross between a lemon and a lime kind of, and it's huge. It's like a massive lemon and they're grown in Japan. Okay. The next one is the most plain. Mm -hmm. We might, we should probably should have just started with that one, but what can you do? Okay. I'm going soy. soy. Wow. Quality fish. Mm -hmm. Great soy sauce. I would buy a massive thing of that soy sauce if they soy it separately. I think they used to. What are you I doing I might do next? a double soy sauce. Okay. Go ahead. I think it's dealer's choice. Mm -hmm. Is this a mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think soy sauce. <laughs> Onto the tuna. I kind of feel like we should do these first. Yeah. I'm going to turn it towards you. Okay, so this one, wait, hold on. This what is, is Maguro. This so this is the lean tuna. This is the leanest part of the tuna. And uh, there's a little wasabi in it. Really good tuna. <clears throat> <laughs> Sam knows all about good tuna. I wouldn't mind if there was even a bit more because it's lean and because you're eating it with soy sauce. It's going to have a bit of sweetness. I wouldn't mind if there was a bit more wasabi. Yeah. In it. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't hate, hate that. I wouldn't hate that. I liked it. What did you think with the yuzu? I thought it was good with the yuzu, <clears throat> but I still think the soy the sauce, sauce is, is the way by to go. far the best. Mm -hmm. So why don't we do the um, chew toro? Yeah. Chew toro. So this is the medium fatty tuna. Yeah. That's really good, chew toro. Really good. For Mackie... This is really good. You can't ask for yeah. much more. Also, Kaji himself, the chef, is hilarious. He gets drunk with all his patrons. He's a bit crazy. It's it's fun. Like, it, that's a really fun restaurant experience. What did you eat the last one with? Just uh, soy sauce. Just soy sauce. While you're eating that, I think I'm going to try yeah, one of my do it. Uh, sushi pieces. So, golden eye snapper, squid, uh, unagi, freshwater eel, toro, maki, piece of toro, chew toro, snow crab, sweet shrimp, and this is, this one I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with white fish. Usually you go lightest to darkest. Yeah. Like that's what Seichi to told me at Zen, so. A little bit too much rice for the piece. But that was like, you know the Mediterranean style he does? Yeah, I actually know exactly with what the, you're talking with about. With the olive oil yeah. and the, yeah. I want to say parsley and a little bit of black olive. Really? It could have been. He does things differently at yeah. Kaji. Next one, we'll do one of my favorites, which is the sweet shrimp. That one, he put a bit of yuzu on. How is that egg toro? Really good. Sometimes like unbalanced between the scallion and the toro, that's well balanced. He didn't put too much of either. I'll do uh, snow crab next. Too much rice. And this is also one of my favorites. This is um, squid. Ika. Ika. And again, too much rice. This is a really nice piece of eel and you see on the top of it, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's that Japanese seasoning. Yeah. Was that good? Mm-hmm. So out of all those, which was your favorite so far? I'm gonna eat one more of the... I would say the squid. Really? It was really tender. He did a really good uh, job scoring it. You know how they score yeah. it. Before Finchers. we move on, Hokkaido sea urchin. 
I know I say that each piece is one of my favorites. That is my favorite. Yeah. By far. When uni is on, it's really good. I'm just... Mm. Very good uni. Very, um... Smooth and buttery. <laughs> okay. Let's eat this Otoro. I want to eat one of these. Yeah. Okay. So this is the fattiest part of the tuna. Mm -hmm. This is also the most expensive part of the tuna. And this is what usually you end with on every sushi meal. That's what I started with. That's good. Wow. That's really good Otoro. I would say that considering all things, including that we ate it an hour after we got it. We're in quarantine. We're not eating it at the restaurant. We're not served by him. We're not eating a traditional Japanese menu. I would give it an 8-4. I, I think that's a very professional score. What do, what you, do you think, think Mr. Mr. Wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was an episode of Cigar Lounge, Quarantine Edition. Oh, the soy sauce challenge. The soy sauce challenge. It is a little known fact that if you dip your balls in soy sauce, <laughs> you can in fact taste it in your mouth. Both of us have done it. It works. It does work.